Hello, hello. J Pop is back with more Delta Rune. Okay, what does it say? Elevator to prison, formerly known as elevator to basement, which just happened to have a lot of cages. What's up? Show me what you got. Act. Rune and Rangers became sparkling into view. So you don't have your own acting. I told Susie to compliment the enemy. Huh? Are you serious? What good can I say about somebody trying to kill us? Aw, oh, Susie. You're stuck when I try. Say something you wish someone would say to you. You are unbanned from free ham sandwich day. Ouch. Okay, slow and a fast. Uh, we don't have enough healing, okay. You could spare him. That'll work out great. Please keep... Body tackling the soda, soda machines. Ow. Identically, ideally multicolored, but they all wanted to be red. Ah, oh, Jesus! Uh, I want to get a healing. Uh, you'll defend. You'll defend. Alright, let's try not F this up. Elevator to top floor. Currently stuck at the top floor until someone rides it down. Alright, so that's my quick travel back. Alright. Let's go to the bake sale. Can we still buy stuff? Choco Diamond. I got that, right? Yeah. But I should have... Fix an item. Nothing to fix. Thought I found a broken item. See? A broken key. It's the middle part of a key. A smith could fix all three parts. Oh, okay. So much for that. Let's go to the field. I have four space. One, two, three. Um, equip. Now we'll increase the defense. What kind of items do I have? I will revive. I have donut. I 
One, two. We'll buy three dark burgers. That was nice and convenient. There should be a save, right? Is it a save out here? It's a little bit back over here. There. They cut out all the walking part. Alright. Stairs upward. Rudin's room. Yes, that's a door. Hey, it's you. You're that peaceful lightener. Whoa, you even tamed the beast that was tormenting us. Beast? What beast? Oh, you even taught the beast to talk. Here, have a cocoa diamond. Got a cocoa diamond. We sold all our bees to replace them with treasure. My back hurts, but life has never been better. Looks like a family photograph. Normally, normal everyday riches acquired from a legitimate source. A businessman with standards. Treasure chest, a club sandwich. That damn manual's taking up a space. And there's no chest to throw away. Um, anything. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Uh. Who's there? <laughs> Faust fools. I am... I am Roxel's card, no. <coughs> Rules guard. Thou our greatest adversary. Oh, I'm gonna have trouble reading this. Thou may have called this past all those other conjurums, but I Thous were created by utter weaklings. Now, prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle in Thous life. Toil, worms! Oh, shit! Lost? Frightened? Confused? Good! <laughs> Toth in despair at the world's strongest puzzle. My art thou! Thou shalt stucketh upon my puzzle, trappeth hopelessly like an insectian uh, roaches in. Ah, oh, perhaps I could find it in my heart to spare you, should you grovel for 100 years. <laughs> it kind of reminds me, there was a bug in my apartment early. I wonder where it went. My art thou stucketh. Okay, that, 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 that. <laughs> Ooh, what if I fucked up? What if I pushed it to the edge and couldn't do it? I almost want to. Uh. God. Damn it. <laughs> Undo the puzzle. Oh. Undo the puzzle. Ah, <sighs> Rogue's card was standing here. Ah, oh, I think making block pushing puzzles is a total hunky hobby. All right.
Those are stairs upward. We'll go... Ow, I fucked up there. Well... Here, have a Lancer cookie. 4 HP. And uncomfortable. But we get the club's sandwich. Castle bathroom. Royal flush! Oh, yeah, yeah. What you got? Flirt with them! George Susie to flirt with the enemy! And hail! No! Aw, Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. What? Shut up! That's not the problem. You sure? Alright, look, wise guy. I'll show you. Watch this. <clears throat> So, uh, come here often? Hey, get back here and let me flirt with you! Oi, 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 oi! Now, let's see Ralsei do it. I suppose if it can't be helped, Effie, your beauty is just transcendent. Your hair is like a waterfall of. Wait, uh, do you have hair or? Oh, oh dear, wait. Not so easy, huh? Okay, okay, I kind of get that. Defend, defend. We'll do that. Alright. You know what? You'll check. They learn to hide its feelings. Is that strength? Alright. Here, yeah, you... You flirt. It was highly effective. See, when I do it, they like it. Hathi looked at you kindly. Your sins against Hathi were forgiven. Looks like Hathi sold all the gems and replaced them with beds. Looks extremely well slept. It's like a bed. Will you rest here? No, you won't. It's not your bed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It said other things! I, I blew right by it. YouTube, you will have to pause and like move a uh, comma and period. You'll find me, huh? Oh no, it won't.
Some noise was made and it went. Oh no! Yeah, those guys really think that was all I asked. Wrong! It's time for you, for you to feel my really powery. Behold, my ultimate puzzle! Have at you! Mm -hmm. Alright, Papyrus. Yeah, <laughs> face the true strongest puzzle worms. This time the difficulty art magnitude is grander. See thou in 100 years, thou feeble insects. Oh, such despair. Oh, such sweet despair. Squirmest, squirmest upon the earth like a moistened noodle. I've tried so hard, whatever shall I do? Hachu! I also realize you can't fail because I can't push it anywhere else except on this little thing right there. So I can't fail it. <laughs> Colorful worms. That wasn't really my ultimate puzzle. I have a waste better one right here. Can, can we see it? No! Ha! Oh, Rose Guard was standing here. Sorry, I'm sighing. I didn't get much sleep. Alright, is this open by any chance? Alright, it is. Revivement. Or I have too many items. Hell yeah! This is the place to be! I'm the first party member. I'm in charge of the DPS. <laughs> it's a bed for three people. Or one three-headed person. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet. Ha! Which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat so many you choke. Do they eat sports? Then we could all play Twister. Just stay out of our way. We lose even by ourselves. Alright, so that's all the same. It's a giant baseball for parties. Kathy is a second party member. It's the healer. She was in charge of catering the party. Fortunately, the cake she commissioned was destroyed in a field somewhere. Ooh. It's a tree for parties. It's a boombox. It's playing clubs. Clubs music. Oh ho. Alright, I like that room. Alright, um... I have two cocoa diamonds, a club sandwich, a sandwich that can be split into three. I like that. I didn't see how much that healed me. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. What you got? Rolls Roar! <laughs> Fragrance that heals 50. A scarf. And an amber card. First off, see thou in the dungeon worms.
Lose a tag, gain magic fluffiness up. I want that. Let's sell armor. Selleth armor, selleth weapons, oh. Sell items. Uh, no thank you. I'll sell a dark candy. Let's talk. What about yourself? I am the Duke of Puzzles. Rolls guard. My hobbies include calligraphy, law keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. I wish thou one of my admirers worms. Why sell to us? Ha ha ha. So I might amass funds, worms, an army of funds. So that I may crush us thou like fermented grapes into a most delicious and adult beverage. Vengeance! Ha <laughs> ha Oh, how I amuse myself. The king, or Lord King Art, uh, Lord King Art, a cruel and terrifying monarch. However, he, he is also brilliant, and he decided to oppose me as Duke of Puzzles. I read that right. After pretty much everyone else was fightereth or placed inside a cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. The king's son. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always asks me the worst queries and calleth me lesser dad. Our relation is none. You little water beetle, I pla place it, placket it. you for your father's sake. I do not wish it to hear your mp3s, I'd rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he anyhow? Do I want to buy one of these? That's alright. Alright, we have the spade and an elevator. Stairs. Oh, I know what that is. Let's go check out the spade room. Found no, 20 rupees in a hole. Fortunately, that's not a useful currency here. Damn! It's home made recreationally. A bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. What is this? Some kind of digging. Oh, no, the music player. It's a music player. Listen to the contents? It's full of cartoon splat noises. There's salsa buried in the ground here. Should take us back over here, yep. So quick travel has been established. Enough, worms. Thou may have cheated through mind puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepareth for battle with whatever this is. Huh? It's the enemy from earlier. But his crown looks different. It looks the same. Yes, with my control crown, it mayeth control any disc shaped light form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel its relief when it sees how much more pain thou be in.
Susie's idea. Susie, you want to act? Uh, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize to her for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. How do we throw Raze at it? Oh, shit. The crown loosened a little. The crown greatly loosened. Checkers? Oh no, it's chess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. <laughs> Why, brilliant! Just brilliant! I knew you couldst do it, thou great heroes, thou! Thou seeth, that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou wast one, and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an, ex uh, an extru obstruction. But you, like be with you heroes! Normally, because of time, I'd leave it here. Fuck it. Let's go. Here's a throne. Seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Riches. They shine with avarice. Avaris. Wall banners. They seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Hey, there's Lancer. Father. Lancer, my son. If you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? N no, but I did even better. Turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie. It's very purple and strong and where are they now? Um Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. He he has father? Kick him! Oh, do you remember what I told you? D don't get too attached? You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. N no, they are not. What did you say? Let them go. <laughs> You want me to let him go? Then how about this? Woo! I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. Where will it be, Lightners? 
Susie will do it. D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Now, watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the? You! You traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you... I'm the bad guy! Toby Fox visited Japan, didn't he? Team block the way, alright. We'll take a turn to check him out. King, abandoned by the Lightners. His heart became cracked with hatred. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So we can get by without hurting you then. If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie Will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. This is what I'm talking about. This is a boss fight. That was fun. You can hold up a sec, Susie. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can find another way. Such simple minded pl 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 platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Talk became dual heal. Oh, okay. I will talk. Try to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against your own. Our own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. Aye. Aye. Current party defense is raised for this turn. Hey. Heals everyone, boost defense. His name wasn't yellow, okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey!
He's saying new and different things, I believe. The, the battle is progressing. So I don't want to give up just yet. We could hit him once. Let's hit him once. This puzzle's getting harder. <laughs> that much damage to him the fight has progressively gotten harder I'm just gonna believe that this is what I need to do if I keep fighting you like this then Darkness pours from the fountain. It seems that, okay, I won't have to finish him. Ow. We'll keep up the courage. My knight. I shall not fail you. Ow. Huh. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I may have grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightners, I... Perhaps I... I have been too cruel. The truth is, it was not always this way. There once was a time where darkness and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkeners could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you, you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. Come now, Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. If you could just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, friends. That sounds lovely. <coughs> My apologies. I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is... getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. There. Should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let, let's see. Never better. You... You! Did I say you could get up? Chris! Chris! Oh, spare me the heroics. You. You're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh? As you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. 
young one. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> oh, what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. L Lancer! Everyone! What? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! Now I'm the dad. You idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes! I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. No! <laughs> you alright, Chris? Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm... I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you're right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where... Where kindness always wins, is it? Eh. It's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just... Hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then, I... Suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Huh? Chris, you wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Heh, <laughs> well, if you're gonna make me, I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go! Chris, Susie, you came back. Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah. We'll try to not skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat or some shaving cream. Got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got no tutorials. Tutorials, so try your best. Best, you're the best. Honestly, we owe you. Even a little ball can say something like, thank you. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked... What's his name? Seem, Sham, Sham. I asked Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. You're absolutely amazing, okay. Big grip. Darn, horsey. You've done us a big help. Now all in us pieces can live in pieces. You did it. You ousted the rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for my contribution. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. Wonderful work, my amigosis. Thou hast top of this, the tyrant Freitas, or Cretus. Truly, if his story shall not forget. The tale of Ra's card and the three heroes. What about the part where you tried to kill us? Ah, an interesting historical theory, is it not? 
Nonetheless, the evidence produces such a thing. What evidence? I shall give it thou a plate of worms for thou silence. Deal. I didn't talk to everybody twice. You did it. Yeah, I'll the wrong time. Oh. Some say things, some don't. Boy, my nostrils can't thank you enough. Holy crap. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I dislike my job. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. I came in with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B day too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Looked at me proudly. Kiss! Limit one. What's going on? I slept through everything. What ho? What about us? Aren't we gonna be restored as kings? Ah, uh, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. Us animals decided it's okay if kings stay in the cages as well. But they have to put on animal ears and noses. Mama Amoeba, what a celebration. This calls for a cake. And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. I have high hopes for the new king. He's already mandated a 400% increase in salsa production. Susie! Blue person whose name I neglected to learn along. long. <laughs> I thought you were going home ways. We were. Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I didn't not want to. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it going to be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. We'll see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. You should tell your prince to say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Alright, so we can't leave. I am disappointed. There is a path in this game I have not done. Now that I learned the four rooms, there was another path that I could go. And I didn't do that. And I may not get that chance now. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know. We're just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, hi. I just wanted to say I... Hi. Really enjoyed meeting you too, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling in your to your hat for a sec? I barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, Chris? Susie? Hi. I hope I can see you again soon. With your pink horns, you make me think you're a girl. Next time, I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Hey, Chris. I know you want to stay, but we got to go.
King Asgard's got some explaining to do! <laughs> Is this... a fountain? Don't know how, but... It feels like we stumbled into... The Twilight Zone. Do, 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 do. Something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Can't see anything. <laughs> Watch it. Huh? The unused classroom. How did we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell office we couldn't find any chalk. It's gone back. Ball of junk, a small ball of accumulated things. It smells like scratch and sniff marshmallow stickers. C Chris? Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You're spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Well, I called Goat Mom, so that's a good thing. Playing cards spill out of the deck in the closet. It's a checkerboard. There were pawns strewn on it. It's a worn down stuffed animal. It's a light switch. That's blank. A little disturbing. It's a yellow pulley drawn green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Okay. Door is locked. Man, sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? The door is locked. What's over here? The door is locked. Oh! Do you like breathing, moving fast, with or without legs? Will you shoot with legs? Join the cross country team with Jockington and Noel. It's 
your locker. It's empty. Oh, that's my locker. This used to be your brother's locker. Holy shit. Oh, but he moved to college though, right? So he's not in here anymore. Or a different city life. Miss Toriel. Miss Toriel! It's not Mrs. This is a prequel. It pretty much looked like a prequel. It's a prequel. Seems like it has been erased in a very long time. It's a computer. It's your brother you dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Trying to teach you food. Kids books. Some of them used to be yours. The throne of the gods. Some kind of primitive, primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. Motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems f to be from a video game. Walking in the street. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How did you draw dragons in 2,583 days overdue? However, Chris, I'm one with beloved, benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I reduce your fine to a mere sixty-four dollars and twenty-three cents. Consider it, Chris. I have two bucks. There's an enemy with you. Read it. No, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Gotta go to college, so Tem's that be hard. She read a comic full of hot demon guys. I love reading books, especially the book upstairs. You should really read them. Thanks, jackass. Computer lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. All right. All right, this is a mistake. Teens Corner's monthly review: Mew Mew Kissy Cutie Two. Mew Mew's first exposure to series. Mew Mew One looked like a dumpster with sparkles. Storyline about mature themes. View like a real adult. I'm just gonna skim through this, okay? Instead of an animal will die in ten seconds. I don't see a beach ball. More stale, lights off teens, olders should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Lord of the Hammer. First in award winning fictional series. Okay. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote the book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. I don't have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Who would that be? These are all characters from the from Undertale. There's a book here. You lick the page, it's delicious. This must be what we meant by flavor text. What? You look through the window. To the computer lab. 
There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. This might take a while. What does it say? Now the dog's just playing the maracas. It's not doing any work. This might take a while. Okay. Can we go down? Shh. All right. Well, this episode got really long. What's up, Undyne? Hey, punk. Get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait. It's just Asgore's kid. Sorry. I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. I wish something would shake things up. Yeah, you ask a little too much there, Undyne. Huh? You got something to report? The Dark World! What? There's a Dark World inside the school. Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against Dark Worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. How am I supposed to get past this bl this blue lady? I'm stuck. So I guess I should just run away. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. All she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed. My god, there's a church. There's a town hall. This is town. The town keeps going south. Oh, fuck. We'll go into those doors a little bit later. It might just say it's locked. I don't know. What's up, priest? Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. Hi, Father Alvin. Employ you. If you have anything weighted on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. A choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, would it be one... It would be wonderful if you would sing with us. We even participated to any extent. Instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Nothing. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low. Ate too much candies. Lost your frisbee in the wash. Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. What? Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. If you need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops. Alright, so you won't let me by? The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. Not only does she act icy, she always keeps her office's AC on full blast. That chill I feel is is what politics feels like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some trouble, Christ, some terrible crisis. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you here to complain about your teacher? If you don't like her, please blame your mother for getting her hired. Anything in that? Nope. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. I said it wrong. <sighs> karaoke. It's karaoke. Karaoke. Butler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Gerson's Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. You're writing. I 
don't get these. I guess the hospital next. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? I play it that good. Just that good. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside <laughs> doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. Oh shit. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines and a circle. It's a regular sink. Why am I here? You looked inside the cupboard. Very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale. Using Isis as a model. At 0 pain he's happy. At 10 pain he's happy and sweating. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Well, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. R really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... Kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Well... Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't wait. D dad You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project. Project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get him. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Hi, just visiting your dad at the hospital. To get well soon card from your mom. It's signed inside. Hey Chris, you know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your penmanship that good? Was I not moved enough? Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Ho ho, the dad puns. <laughs> All right, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why, why you here? Did your mom make you come here? No, really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Was it too long ago you were just a creepy kid next door? Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You wanna chat or something? She's a sweetheart. Isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. Just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me, just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Hey Chris, you wanna chat or something? Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we're still... We still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Asriel's off to college. 
You think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! She always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. So, why am I in here? Well, I found some crap. So, it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. That I can go back to... I don't know. Yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Hmm... Knock the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. Just close the blinds. Please tape is blocking the way. Tape simply rings. Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Who the hell are you? <laughs> you know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? Behind me? Yeah, that's a grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone's out of complaint to the guy who runs it. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Say hi to my mom. You guys make great jokes. Actually, she probably liked jokes because of you. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. She says she gotta lock her door to stop you from meeting them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? My teacher? Elphis? Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Now she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, her relationship is a uh, purely business. So I uh, guess I'll just let her do her thing. Whoa there, tiger. Can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like it. I got Sans's number. Hey, bud. You busy tomorrow? Need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Alright. Wow. You were deliberating for a while. Okay. Gee, what's wrong? You want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I shouldn't complain, huh? Are we gonna? What are we gonna be doing? Well, I'm not gonna be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Well, you've got something better to do. Me too. And anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. Oh my god, there's so much of this town to walk through. I like want to save and stop, but I don't get to. This video is just going to keep going on. <laughs> Alright. No response, but the distant trousel of bones. Who are you, the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Alright. Knock, knock, knock. Sounds like the knock of a beginner. 
Come back where you've gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. <sighs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, Snowy and Joggington were playing handball. She just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling and cracked her knuckles and totally wiped us at handball. Anyways, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> you look kind of... Yo, Chris, you look kind of annoyed. Everything okay? You can calm down now, dude. Susie's not here. Huh? You look even more annoyed. Susie's my friend now! Even though I was saying she was a bitch at the beginning. Oh, <laughs> you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys? It's not fair. <laughs> If I skip class, my dad will never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> it's actually not even remotely funny. Lucky Chris, you got to piss. Okay. What's in this door? Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door side? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Oh god, someone's actually here, uh, I, I see pizza, your number one spot for piping hot peas, a pizza. Hey, hey, wait, wait a second, I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Shh, why not? Let's talk about Asriel. You know when Azzy's coming home? Can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. Be sweet to cruise around town like old, town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But one time, Unzai made eye contact with me. While she was writing me a speeding ticket. Hey, hey little buddy. What's up? <coughs> ah. Ah, uh, yes, little buddy. Good idea. Meet the Rogues Gallery. Blue Ears, soft serve obsession. No concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The Warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple Guy, man. That guy, you gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, my co workers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. How's the job? Make no mistakes, little buddy. I see pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. Well, it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up. Let's go to college where as he is. Then I'll get to a theater degree and become a famous actor and let the fangirls roll in little buddy all right how are you should you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors we've got normal cheese ice gravy double ice pepperonis and more stop on by ice me up ice me up boss please don't tell me I have to go in here the entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Oh, thank God. Diner. Oh, there are lots of people here. All right. You're catty. Or you, you're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special. Do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. 
Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. Elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, huh? I remember back on Sundays, after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happen and then you all stop coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. He ordered you a hot chocolate, and you two sit down at the table in the corner, drawing shapes in the windows with your brain. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Chris got the hot chocolate. On the house, hun. Can I sit in the corner and think about my brother? And the pinch sprinkles will work too. Dirty trash can. Oh, oh, Chris, you okay? I wasn't really worried. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. Full of well kept flowers. Why are only three of them? Oh, oh Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Oh, these flowers. They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that he always... He always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he... If he likes... If he likes what? The awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge, he could kick my ass. Okay? Let's talk about the saucer. Oh, the saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Yeah, huh? What does she look like? Uh, well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I just like to think that there's a cat. My, my cat. Oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Chris? Even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow um, my homemade DVD collection of The Symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. And it's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch it past the... the, the just it rebooted. Oh, shit. Stop. <laughs> Alpha, stop. Oh, no. Anime's not real. No, Naruto sucks. I like that better. Sh I like that show better. It was called Yu Yu Hakusho. And I like that show better. It was called Dragon Ball Z. Yes, I stole it from Team Four Star. <sighs> you don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. It's time to walk away. It's time to walk away. Thank God I'm not a popular YouTuber so I can say shit like that. People get offended that I make fun of Naruto. It was much better when you became a teenager, I'm sure. Hey, neighbor. When's your brother Doug coming? gonna come by? My girls love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? You missing an arm? Was that behind your back? Can't blame your brother for leaving town. He's out there getting a big brain in a big school. Hope he becomes a big shot. He remembers us the little guys down the street. Eating oranges and getting our stomachs pumped. Look Chrissy, like what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, 
anything though. Your choice. Fuck. Alright. Oh my god. Asriel. Like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember me when we went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch ball over him. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. <laughs> I got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> it was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Ah, uh, your sister. Ooh, how Caddy's doing? I have no idea. Bitch don't call no more. Totally can't connect at all. <laughs> Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no. Then she said, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. The heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freaking up little sis. Neighbors! Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Peters 2. And the only person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino. A cat cappuccino. And she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copy gator. Copy sorcerer. Co copy the ball. IDK. She sucks. Alright, alright. I'm done with that. Thank God. Oh, hi, Chris. Should we help with your homework again? I you were having trouble last time, so I'll... Actually got a few things ready for you in case. Uh, wait, sorry. I can't right now. Forgot my house key again and... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Uh, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I mean, I, um, I, you know, she doesn't like it when I bother her when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Alright, I, I suspected because we know that I forgot to go to that upper route, I only have one part of a key, the middle part. So this might be, I bring the key back in my inventory. I got a ball of junk. You looked at the junk ball of admiration, nothing happened. This junk ball might go somewhere. Hi Chris, is something up? Just talking about anything. Uh, Chris, you feeling all right? Normally you're not so talkative. No, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Uh, Chris, something wrong? Why don't you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciates it, but... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Susie? That's right. You were here with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I, I think. Uh, Chris, can I ask you something? That's okay? Susie, I'm kind of... Curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So Chris, did you tell me about her? That's okay? Dot, 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 dot. I wouldn't say any of these things. Like, what would I say about her? Her heart's in the right place. That's what I could say. She terrible. She eats chalk. She's nice. What? She a nice person? Really? Like really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping. But wait, there is another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms? Told me it was blood. R really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But but if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. Alright. Oh, I can ask something else about her? Well, didn't seem like she, um... Wait, he definitely wouldn't know that. Uh... Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? I gotta do this again? Oh, fuck. Neighbor, oh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? She doesn't realize she'll never be me, but we're exactly the same person. And when we finish each other's sentences, and we buy the same makeup, and 
Oh my god. Honestly, your whole family is like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like I get like get a hairnet girl for like your whole body. Oh, there's no way I there's no way to talk to your almost sister in law. Nah, I'm joking, but like remember that time I played Truth of Day with Azzy? And I like made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out and he kissed someone. And like I think she's basic she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church like every single day that week. Memories! Remember that time when you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course. Just get us some burgers. Then like amazingly you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too, and then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I like suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So like anyway, Chris, are you busy? Napster Blook. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. And why don't you prance on home? I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Oh, you just wanted to talk to me. My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. But Napster Bluke! Napster Bluke! Fine. Hey, Dad. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy! How can I? Oh, Chris! Oh, I'm sorry. Forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. That money in the cash register! <laughs> There's not much change. It's like, damn! Damn it, Dad, why are you broke? <laughs> It's a flower. <laughs> Say, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Asriel comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? It's a purple flower. It's a golden flower. It's a green flower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The golden flower is not the red one. It's the yellow flower. It's dirty fur stuck in the drain. All right. Oh, Chris, you're hungry. Help yourself to anything you want. Photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. What do you got for all the size of jar? With a single pickle in it, he decided to pass. It's door, it's locked. It's a dirty watering can. Can I go up this side? It's a little weird. Air mattress, certainly not king size. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could say air mattress and I could uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. Got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. It's 
your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. What the fuck's over here? Nothing better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves go by. Gay! It's like I'm playing a different game. Right? Alright. I don't want to go home just yet. Because I started... Because I thought about it. The monsters will have to run. Run. Into the underground. It's locked. I figure just say it's locked. This is the underground. Alright. I have gone through everything. Most possibility like, right? It's your mom's van. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake up. But do not eat it. But do not eat it all this time, alright? Chris, what is it, honey? Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him. Are they not? Er, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decorations. Well, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since he's hated that book about eating green eggs and said ham. <laughs> Chris, what is it, honey? Chris, honey, you've grown up so much. Someday soon you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Chris, what is it, honey? Pie! Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Ah, yeah, that's the same. Pie! There's some white fruit oh, stuck in the drain. I don't want that pie! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. I did it! It's only you. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. You will sleep later. You decided to go to bed.
shadows start to grow and the places that you know seem like fantasy there's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth the promise in our heart don't forget I'm with you in the dark. Well. Not that that matters now anyway. Hi, Kara. So. I didn't realize that this was done by chapters. For whatever the hell Toby Fox is planning. Maybe he picked up some... Some ideas from Five Nights at Freddy's. Wouldn't surprise me. It was strange that there was no pie, but... The vessel. The vessel that you are. The... The emotion that you picked for it and everything. I wonder. I wonder if that can have different endings, different paths. Because the OP's not over. I'm going to reload. And I'm going to go the other path. It may be short. And to be honest, because I'm sadistic, I want to try a genocide run of sorts. If there is a genocide run. Um, but it's only chapter one. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, well this episode went about an hour and a half longer than I wanted it to. But it's... But... It is what it is. I got in. I got into that part, and I couldn't stop. I wouldn't have known. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll see you next time.